We've been studying memory latches, we've been studying memories of events and holding on to those things, and what we're going to do now is kind of fill in this gap, this is the last bit of that lab. Okay, so what we have here is a solenoid, okay, and the solenoid is in a solenoid valve with a spring on it. So the spring is going to send it back. So if I wanted to get the cylinder to extend and keep extending, I'd have to keep this energized. So now I have to think about what's going to actually energize this and what's going to keep it energized. So I'm going to go back to event programming. We're going to think events. We're going to program in events. Now, this is one of those cylinders where it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So at some point in time, I'm going to press play, right? And it's going to make it go out. So is the event that makes it go out me pressing play? Well, maybe at first, but you don't want to program that way because what about the second time? What about the third time? Are you going to press start every time? So what is the event? Now, really, if you say anything electrical, I'm going to leave. What is the event that makes it go out? The cylinder retracted, okay? So now, how is that translated into an electrical impulse? through a, a switch or a sensor, in this case a limit switch. Okay, cool. So, a limit switch has to make this energize. And that limit switch specifically is the inside limit switch. So in this case, it should look like this. Cool. So that's LS1. Now, specifically, we're studying memory latches in this case. It's not so much, I don't want you to think of it, it's the limit switch that energizes this. It's the event that the limit switch or the event that the cylinder has retracted, okay? So in that, we have to remember that that event happened, right? We have to keep remembering that that event happened so that this can be energized. So the thing that energizes this is the memory of the event happening. So to do that, we just do this. We add another relay so that we can have a memory latch remembering that that event happened. So now I'm gonna label it. R3-1. Okay, good. So I'm just going to do this and put that over there. So now let's just analyze it. If I press start, what's going to happen? You're right. Nothing. Right? Because, dude, relay one isn't in here anywhere. So that's not very good programming because as soon as I plug it in, something's going to start to happen. We don't know what's going to happen just yet. So how do I add the logic of the start button in here somewhere. Yeah, where, where? Yeah, just Run stick here. it in here. I can either put it there or there. Hey, hey, can I put it here? Because then I can't use a pretty short oh, wire, right? Okay, cool. So we don't put anything in between our holding circuit and the actual relay itself. Cool, so in this case, I'm gonna put it right here because I got a little bit of room. R1-2, cool. So now let's take a look to see if this works. If I press play, okay, this is gonna remember the fact that I did press play. It's not gonna remember the fact that I let go of it. It doesn't know, it just knows, hey dude, I have a memory of the event of you pressing the button, right? So that's cool, so it remembers that, and now that becomes closed. It stays closed, cool. So now as soon as that's closed, if this is closed, that's going to energize. It just so happens because the spring returns solenoid valve that if I don't energize it, the cylinder is absolutely home, right? So the cylinder's home, so that's closed. So because that is closed, this energizes. This remembers that it became closed and it holds on to that. It latches that memory. So now the energized, this energized solenoid is still energized. The cylinder will go out when it goes out. This. Normally open limit switch will become closed, which energizes this relay, which then in turn, what? Does what? De-energize. Oh, oh, what does it do to this contact? It opens the contact. Sweet, okay. And that contact, what's the name of this contact? It's a, what? Termination contact. If you look, we got a holding circuit. Always need a termination contact in your holding circuit. That's our termination contact. So, as soon as it goes out, it's gonna terminate. And when this terminates, hey, is this open or closed at the point of this termination? It's open, because the cylinder's out. When the cylinder's out, that's open, right? Okay, so because it's open, when it gets out, that closes, that will be open, this will become open, and well, 
the solenoid just de-energizes. As soon as it de-energizes, it starts to go home. So in this case, the event that makes it go out is what? What's the event that makes the cylinder extend? The cylinder retracting. The cylinder retracting. What is the event that makes the cylinder retract? The cylinder extend. Yes! Event programming. Cool. So, memory latches and event programming and solenoids. Look at what!